Hey guys! So last week I posted a video called Jelly and uh, it got a lot of attention, for sure. Uh, a lot of feedback, a lot of bad feedback, a lot of good feedback, you know, but feedback is feedback, right? Uh, it's really good. I really, really like the fact that you guys are engaging and you guys are commenting, giving me your criticisms, and it's amazing because that's how I grow and improve and give you better videos for the next time. But the one thing that bothers me is when people don't watch the video, they take the title and they base the entire video, their entire opinion on the title. You guys ever heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Well, these days it went whoosh, right over people's heads. They don't care about that anymore. They do base it on the title. But then again, I am really guilty about this because sometimes I read articles and I would just read the title saying like, I don't know. Oranges are bad for you. And I'm like, oh my god, oranges are bad for me? Shit, I gotta share this on Facebook and I tell everybody about this. Meanwhile, I have no idea what the article actually says. It's terrible. I judged the book by its cover. So then I asked myself, Kiro, you put out a 10 minute video. A 10 minute video. People don't have 10 seconds to spare on your videos. And you put a 10 minute video expecting people to sit there and watch? So it is kind of my fault. So today's video is going to be about Donald Trump, but it's going to have nothing to do with the title because this is going to be an experiment video to see how many people actually watch the video before they comment. So be sure to come back on this video, you know, a couple of days later and read the comments because it's going to be hilarious. So we all know Donald Trump is the biggest bigot there is. Much like the people that commented on my video last week. Hmm. Here's a thought. It's just a thought, okay? A really wild, out of the box thinking, but here's a thought. What if Trump was just a really super smart person? Because he is a really good businessman. So I've heard, right? Like, what do I know about business? I don't know. But apparently he's a really good businessman. Obviously he's very smart. What if he used his tactics and his brilliancy and put it into politics? Here, hear me out, okay? What if he really wasn't racist and he wasn't against the Muslims, he wasn't against women, you know? He's actually a really good human being. What if he just had to say whatever it took to win because that's what politicians do. They just say a bunch of blah, 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 and they never act on it. But they have to say a bunch of stuff for their election speeches so they can win. So what if he just knew that a lot of Americans were so racist and everyone was against Muslims because of 9-11 and whatever, whatever, whatever that's happened. And so he thought, okay, okay, here's my idea, okay? I'm going to pretend like I'm racist and then I'm going to say a bunch of stupid stuff and a lot of media attention on me because, you know, I'm Donald Trump. And then, everyone's gonna vote for me. Yeah. What if it was just an election tactic that he used? What if? Because look at all those people that had just emerged and he won! You know, he was such a dirtbag and he won! So obviously, whatever tactic he's used, it worked. Now I know what you're thinking. What about that whole Muslim ban thing that he came up with yesterday? Well, let's take a different perspective, okay? What was the result of him putting that statement out there? Did you see the thousands of Americans that came together for people that they don't know? There's all sorts of people that came out to protect another human being. This is another human being that they don't know, they never saw, they never met, they don't know anything about, but they came out to support them, which shows unity. And who brought that unity out? Trump. So what if the first step that Trump wanted to take as president was to bring unity in the country. <sighs> Obviously it's not true. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows. Anyways, in the cynical world that we live in, I just want to, you know, shed a little bit of positivity out there. That's all. You know, we'll just hope and wait for the best. But you gotta give it to Trump. One week. One week as a president and he's already trying to make his campaign promises come true. I mean, really. How many presidents can we say has actually done that? Or how many politicians ever has actually done that? That is pretty impressive, Mr. Trump. Very impressive. But obviously that doesn't mean I support any of that before all of you start jumping into the comment section and be like, oh my god, you're a Trump supporter, you're an awful person. No, I don't, obviously don't. But, you know, I'm just trying to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Who knows? Let's just wait and see, and good luck, America. Canada welcomes you. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching till the end before you comment. But don't forget to come back and read those comments because it's going to be hilarious down there. Anyways, if you haven't yet, please subscribe, like, comment, share the video with your friends, and I will see you guys next week. Keep it real until then. Bye!